Hello, my name is Abigail Hanks, and I'll be critiquing Jellyfish Eyes. In the film Jellyfish Eyes, directed by Takashi Murakami, who is more known for his contemporary pop art, the audience experiences a distinct and unique way of creating film in such ways as cinematography, sound design, and production design. The audience views the world through a colorful and bright film with fun and bright themes such as fantasy creatures in a more modern, normal society. With themes of friendship, family, and fantasy with the use of Murakami's artistic expression. The first and most important topic to discuss is Takashi Murakami's life outside of directing Jellyfish Eyes. Murakami is primarily an artist and is not necessarily known for his directing, which brings an interesting view to his life. He is immensely popular with the art culture and industry with his art spilling into fashion, film, and other commercial areas, such as the film Jellyfish Eyes. He has an iconic characterization of his art style with vibrant colors and fun, playful characters such as Karaji Bo, otherwise known as Jellyfish Boy, and other F-R-I-E-N-D or friend characters. The mixture of reality and regular life with fantasy artistic creature, creatures is fun and playful. The cinematography of Jellyfish Eyes has a bright color palette without a dull moment, which reflects the art that Murakami produces. The film does not compose of any drastic fancy editing and it reflects the colorful but real down-to-earth and simplicity of the art Murakami makes. The cinematography through Murakami's eyes shows something different than an average film enjoyer would experience. Even though there are darker elements to the film, it stays true to the pop art style. The visuals in Masashi's dream, the protagonist, reflects Murakami's art. His father is suddenly engulfed by a large wave, reflecting how Masashi is coping with his father's passing. The bright colors and shimmers of the water show that even in darker elements of the film, it is always vibrant and never dull. The sound design of Jellyfish Eyes continues to portray Murakami's artistic outlook and visions. In the opening scene, the audience experiences an immediate draw to attention from the loud crashes of thunder, showing that, once again, never a dull moment with the audio and visuals. The playful and whimsical music is prevalent throughout with the friend characters, such as meeting Jellyfish Boy. The film is fun and playful with the audio when meeting Jellyfish Boy down to the classroom fights of the friend's characters. Even though Murakami is primarily a visual artist, he still manages to tell a story with the audio and visuals. The production design is what sets Jellyfish apart from other films. With Murakami being an artist before a director, there is a strong visually artistic vision. The visuals of the friend characters in the way they are intertwined with the film, both within the plot of the film and the editing of the film itself, are unique in its own way, unlike many other films. Jellyfish Eyes is very reminiscent of something like Pokemon, according to Cinema Adrift. Krajibo is one of the many friend characters that resembles a Pokemon-like appearance and feel. Similar to Pokemon, the little friends also attach themselves to a human and are controlled by them. The audience views these characters created with special effects and sees them mixed in with the regular non-magical children that have these characters. Unlike other films, Meraki, shown here, created an art gallery of pieces inspired from jellyfish eyes with his characters incorporated into the gallery. The art pieces on the gallery shows his art style going past the friend characters and onto canvas, literally with him strongly playing along with metaphors of the film's title and his art since it's filled with eyeballs. There are many critiques of Jellyfish Eyes, both positive and negative. With the film's artistic and creative approach for having an artist as a director, some believe there is a lack of depth with themes and the plot. With one saying the friend character's creation is more interesting for the physical details of the character creation rather than any information on thematic reasoning for their designs, and that the film is fine, which is a weak liking for a film that is in the Criterion Collection. Jellyfish Eyes is a truly innovative film with a director with an art background instead of a film background with an exploration of many artistic and creative things, such as Meraki's modern pop art coming through. 
with the differences of a more artistic director to create jellyfish eyes, the audience experienced a very visually pleasing film created with captivating shots of bright visuals, creating audios and sound and cinematography like no other. Murakami shows in Jellyfish Eyes why it is in the Criterion Collection with its uniqueness and creativity flowing through. For the quiz. Who is the director of Jellyfish Eyes? A. Masashi Kusakabi B. Takuto Sueka C. Takashi Murakami or D. Krajibo. The director is C. Takashi Murakami. Question number two, what is Karajibo? A, friend, B, pet, C, pal, or D, buddy? The answer is A, friend. Question number three, what are some critiques of jellyfish eyes? A, lack of depth with themes and reasoning, B, dull cinematography, C, scary audios that do not fit the theme of the film, or D, minimal production design. The answer is A, lack of depth with themes and reasoning. And here is my work cited. Thank you for watching.